Hello everyone, do you even remember me at this point? It's been a couple of months since my last video. But anyway, I miss you guys and I'm so happy to be back. I have a very, very special guest coming in town. And I figured, why shouldn't I don't take you all to three of my favorite European places of the trip for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So if you're interested to see who my special guest is, Please keep on watching. Now let's go and have some French breakfast. Are you excited, Kanye? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm a part of Rosalie with uh, my partner Jonathan. He's in Florida, Orlando, Winter Garden, exactly. We opened this store seven years ago. And that's uh, the insights from uh, Jonathan's idea because his parents, they have a business in France. The name was Rosalie, so he wanted to create Rosalie here in America. So the interior, that's all his imagination. is very talented for that. Me, I'm more like pastries, Danish okay, but we work together. So come to Rosalie to see the atmosphere and if you have a chance to go to Florida or Orlando Winter Garden, go see Rosalie in Winter Garden, Florida. What is your best seller? So the best seller we have the almond croissant, it's a very very good seller. The almond croissant and then we have the French breakfast board, it's very popular also the uh, bacon eggs croissant, the good seller. So you have to come to check out the menu and you can see we have a lot of options. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drinks is on latte is the cranberry. It's made with the vanilla and caramel. So come to Rosalie, you can enjoy the atmosphere of Rosalie. Hi everybody. My name is JJ from Jcation on YouTube and uh, hanging out with Christina at her favorite European restaurant. So I'm excited. Thanks for, I'm very excited too. Thanks for taking me around and showing me this place. Yeah, of and course. And by the way, welcome for his channel, so stay tuned for his video from Mandalay Bay. Yeah, we're doing a video in Mandalay Bay, but first we're going to try out some French pastries and some coffee. Cheers. Cheers! So I got the cappuccino, what did you get? I got a latte. It's very pretty, but I can't really show you like this. I'll show you in a little bit. Nice. Cheers. Let's try it out. That's nice. Okay. This will give you a mustache period. <laughs> yeah, that's You're not true. careful. Yeah, You're gonna have to mix it in. Now. What did you order? I went with the cappuccino and a chocolate croissant. Yay. I always have this for breakfast when I was uh, living in Spain and Europe. Okay. I have a strawberry uh -oh. <laughs> Almost. Strawberry tart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A strawberry tart looks really nice. It's yes. presented well too. Delicious. Can't wait to try it. It's good with something inside. It's oh, very nice. good. Yeah. Let's try it. It's nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll try out my chocolate croissant. Mm. Okay. Nice and flaky. You got the chocolate in the inside. I wish I could show you. Oh, I can. <laughs> Look at that. So good. Looks really good. Yum. How do you like Vegas right now? It's hot. It is. That's what I would think. I want to stay inside and just hang out and go by the pool. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll go to the pool. <laughs> but, um, Everybody who watched my videos knows that my, the pool is my favorite place for every <laughs> hotel. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and you do some really good hotel videos. I, I watched your Rio video. So. Thank you. Good job. Keep Thank it up. You. <laughs> What's your favorite food? I love Italian food. Mm. Pizza, pasta. That's my food. When I'm in Italy, I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm Filipino American, but in another life, I was Italian because I love Italian food. Probably me too. <laughs> I know a little Italian. Ciao bella. It's so funny because when you actually walk in somewhere in Italy and from everywhere all the men ciao bella, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like flirty. Very, they're very flirty, yeah. yeah. I think the French men are like that too. 
very uh, their their love language is very uh, touchy feely. And they'll show the their testosterone. Yeah. So we had breakfast in France. Now it's time to go a little east, close to my country. Next stop is Greece. Are you ready, JJ? Yeah, I'm excited. Woo! I love Greek food. We're going to the Great Greek in the Art District downtown. They have multiple locations. You can choose which one. I'm not sure all of them. I know they have one in Henderson, one on Blue Diamond. Just choose your favorite. Here is the Greek salad and the dip with the pita bread which looks amazing and so fluffy and hot, smells amazing. What do you think, Jay? I love tzatziki, so tzatziki is my favorite. dip that with the pita. Yay! <laughs> Let me give you some info about the dips. First one is the hummus, this is the tzatziki, and this is the recovery, which is basically feta cheese with spicy peppers and this is baba ganoush so let's try it all right let's grab yourself a pita yeah. oh my god it's so soft <laughs> and it smells so good oh that's hot is it <laughs> careful with the pita it's hot what do you want to try first <laughs> i want to try first the crumbles mm. this is one of my best Favorite. Like I don't really. This, uh, whatever you want. I want to try the spicy one. It's not really, really spicy, but it's like the perfect amount of spice. And this is uh, feta cheese. This is feta cheese and uh, peppers. It's called um, how it's called tirukafteri. <laughs> it's like a chipotle feta jalapeno taste. Yeah. Good. By the way. Yeah. I never tried the papa ganoush, so this will be my first Papa ganoush? Yes, I don't know what it how I like saying that word. So let me try the... I, I already tried, but let me dip in the tzatziki. I'll follow suit. Mm -hmm. How about that? Try the tzatziki. It's good. Mm. Which one is your favorite so far? You got the cucumber too with the tzatziki. Mm -hmm. I like the spicy with the feta. Mm -hmm. It's like, look at that. It's like a peachy Ooh. pink color. It's perfect. Did you try the salad? No, yeah, you. Oh, well, there's a lot of salad here. Yeah. There, this is so good that we're like stuck on it. <laughs> this is the hummus right here. Yeah. Oh wow, even the hummus is good. Mm -hmm. One of the best hummuses I ever tried. Look at that. This is salmon rice bowl. You have a little salad on the side. You have feta cheese, olive, peppers. Here we have grape leaves filled with rice. They're vegetarian. And we have falafels. Again, tzatziki, pita, and hummus. Here we have chicken gyro and fries with lots of cheese and some spice on top of it. Okay, guys, now we'll try the feta fries. Put some lemon. Do you like lemon? Yes. Squeeze it. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Wait for me. Wait, wait, wait. You got the nice cheesy one. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Feta with, with lemon and all the other stuff is good. Nice golden and crispy thicker fries. The lemon gives it so good flavor. Eparisto. A thank you, right? In I don't Greek. Know. Yeah, in Greek. Eparisto. Cool.
Okay guys, now we'll try the gyro and the rice ball and enjoy ourselves because food is so good and we'll give you some opinions in the end. We'll let you know after we try it. How about that? So what do you think, Jay? Which one is your favorite? You know, I'm a salmon fan, so I like salmon. That's really good. The feta fries were amazing. Everything here is really tasty. They, they cook everything fresh and you That's can really taste the difference. Yeah. yeah, and the prices here are very moderately priced. So it's not overpriced and it's not, you know, if it's cheaper, you're not going to get the best ingredients. So you're getting really great ingredients here. And the tzatziki, the, anything with feta cheese. Thumbs what up. I really like here is that you really feel like you're in Greece and also they play Greek music. So sometimes I, Greek music and Bulgarian, they're very close. So sometimes when I come here and hear the music and I feel like home. Okay guys, it's time for dessert. We have amazing, amazing and juicy and crispy baklava right here. And we're about to try it. There you go. It's time to try the dessert, guys. Excited. I haven't had baklava in a while. Like I was in Greece eight years ago, but I've had it in San Diego. So. Now you have it in Vegas. Cheers. In the great Greek. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's soft, but also crispy. crispy on the top. Nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. So cool, all right? Nice. Yeah, I'm excited to try Bulgarian food. I've never tried it before, so uh, I'm excited to check out BG Bistro. Let's go and <laughs> check it out. All of us Bulgarians are extremely proud of our rich history. Thanks to the owners of Biji Bistro, you can see many pictures representing historical moments over the years, kings and fighters who gave their lives for our freedom today. Even 6,444 miles away from home, we Bulgarians living in Las Vegas feel one step closer to home visiting Biji Bistro thanks to the atmosphere and delicious food. And looking at these portraits remind us how great and worthy of respect our homeland is. So basically, BG Bistro have two different sides. We're going to the, the first side. one, which is uh, for smokers, and it have this bar. And uh, here, usually, you can watch sport. And here, all the Bulgarian performers performing their concert. And it's a little more louder. It's for like more uh, young people who want to have fun, visit the bar, have some Bulgarian drinks, watch some sports. So now we're going to dining smoke free area, which is more formal. is that for people who are not familiar with our kitchen you can actually see what you're ordering you can see the prices they're pretty nice and you have an idea of what you're ordering how it looks like will you like it or not so yeah come check it out okay guys until we are waiting for the food we have some bread here and we have this cheese it's basically uh, Philadelphia cheese mixed with butter and it tastes amazing okay so we did the bread with the cheese and this is very famous in Bulgaria it's called 
colorful salt, which is mixed of different spices, and we put this spice on absolutely everything. You guys are like, pour it on. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, it's good. It's like a little lighter cream cheese. Cream cheese, yeah. And that has a little unique flavor to it. This is like something like we do like when I was little and we do like a bread on top of butter and then you put that. It's just amazing. It's so simple. So let's try the cucumber soup. I really want to hear your opinion on it cucumber soup it's called what is it what's the what say it again Taratot. i'm not even gonna try say it again i don't want to mess that up it's basically yogurt uh cucumber dill and some garlic oh yeah it's like a tzatziki. light tzatziki soup in a way um, yeah and it's cold, so it's not like a warm soup. Yeah. But it's good, it's like a yogurt. Yeah, yeah. yogurt, yeah. It's got that soury yogurt taste, some cucumber. Good. Okay, guys, this is our favorite and famous Shopsk salad. It's very similar to Greek salad. It's basically cucumbers, tomatoes, and feta cheese. Guys, there's so much food coming in. I don't even know from where to start, but let's start with the zucchini. So, these are the zucchini, and we have this sauce, which is basically something like tzatziki, and you just put it all over the zucchini, and it's very light, it's uh, perfect for summer. Then we have french fries with lots of feta. If you don't know, we Bulgarians put feta on absolutely everything. And then we have mixed grill, and this is like very Bulgarian as well. Um, this here, the meatball, it's called kufte and it's mixed 50% pork, 50% beef, and there is onion. Um, this one, it's called kvapche, it's same thing but without the onion. And then we have, I think this is pork, and we have shish kebab, and on the bottom, I think this is pork, not sure. And I have to make an announcement. Okay, here is the time to say that um, I was vegan for a very long time and I really enjoyed um, eating very clean um, but it's hard, especially when you go out not every restaurant has a vegan menu so I decided uh, there have to be some balance so I'm definitely not eating as much meat and as much um, animal products like before but sometimes if my body tells me that I need meat or cheese, mom please tell me about the cheese, <laughs> I eat it. So you're not vegan anymore? I'm not. Yeah. That's okay, no judging. I'm sorry, don't judge me and don't be disappointed. Just eat the meat. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the start of the show. This is biscuit cake, which is made from biscuit layers of biscuit, then mascarpone cheese, and then chocolate. We have to try the cake right now. We got chocolate, mint leaf. You know what I like about I like it because it's cold and it tastes like a like a coffee cake. Yeah, and it's light. All, uh, all American desserts are so sweet and this uh -huh. is not sweet. Tasty. This is something we're best known in Bulgaria with this cake. Wow. What else Bulgarian are best known with? Comment down below if you know. That's good. It's perfect. <laughs> so, what is your favorite from the three breads inside Tokyo? Well, I like them all in a different way. I really enjoyed the Bulgarian food. It really, like, thank you for showing me your, your culture, your food and your culture. So, I like that. The Greek food was really fresh. Yeah. And there's a lot of those uh, uh, locations in Vegas. Yeah, they have so, like four. 
So that was really good. And then the French uh, cafe, it's a good spot for pastries, and and it's really nice. Like uh, uh, yeah, I'm the decoration. Yeah, I'm so excited. So cute. Yeah. So thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for being part of my video. I can't wait to come to San Diego. Maybe you'll take me somewhere. Yeah, we'll we'll take you around. You're always welcome. Thank you. Thank All you right. guys for watching. Don't forget to check his channel. We film a video for his channel. Don't forget to like. Comment, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next one.